hello there it's mandy here welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be making stir fry beef stir fry to be precise this is a very simple but healthy and super yummy sauce that can be eaten with so many dishes and can be prepared within a short period of time hence it's a very good quick fix that i recommend you add this to your menu if it's not in your menu because it's a simple sauce to make without wasting much time we'll start off with our main ingredients before i show the rest of the ingredients this is my boneless beef i have my lemon here i have my marinade the recipe for this marinade is on my youtube channel this is made of fresh herb spices and it's very super 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 healthy i have my salt as well so what i'll do is i'll just cut my beef into smaller chunks i cut it into the shape that i like you can cut it into any shape that you want to i've washed this beef already you can use boneless chicken you can use boneless turkey you can even use mushroom as um protein of your choice there's really no problem with that and be sure to take off any fats around your meat is very very necessary you don't want to consume unnecessary fats in your food so i just cut this into smaller chunks and then put it in the saucepan marinate it for one to two hours i usually prefer to marinate my protein 24 hours ahead of time but this was more or less an impromptu but i'll marinate it for one to two hours to get my herb spices infused with my protein so that i really get what um the benefits of this healthy um marinade so you can cut it into any shape that you want Okay, so I'm done cutting my beef into smaller chunks. I'll just set my board and discard the rest of the things and marinate. So my organic salt is going in there. And then I have my marinade made of fresh herb spices, fresh organic herb spices. Once again, the recipe for this marinade is on my channel. Check it out. I have my lemon. I'm just going to grate it to get the zest into it. I usually freeze my lemons and grate the whole thing and use it for my marinade. But unfortunately, I don't have a frozen lemon, so I'll just get the zest from this and add it to it. I'm sure you'll be wondering, won't the lemon change the taste of this? No, it won't. Lemons are actually good, rich in vitamins and other essential nutrients that you can always add to your marinade and they add a great flavor and taste to your food so always be sure to add lemons to your food it's very 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 good so you just put everything in there give it a mix you can use your hands i'll just use a spatula to mix that very well get everything infused with the marinade then i put it in the fridge for one to two hours for ready to marinate well before i can use it for my stir fry you can actually do this overnight to get the marinade into it very 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 well so that is my meat everything is marinated so i'll go ahead and show you the rest of the ingredients that we use for this So here are the rest of my ingredients in details. I have my veggies which includes my zucchini over here. I have my cucumbers, onions, bell peppers. You can use red, yellow or orange bell peppers in addition to this but I only have green bell peppers so I'll be using green. I have my paprika here so fresh. I have my carrots in here and scallions as well here so these are the veggies i'll use i have my sesame seeds which are rich in iron and fiber so i add them to my foods i have my ground cayenne pepper 
my marinade the recipe is available on my channel so you can check that out as well and then I have my ground shrimps I prefer to use this instead of Maggi cube because these are nutrient packed so I prefer to use this I have my salt as well over there then herrings powder this to in place of the Maggi cube I have my oyster sauce in here my soya sauce as well and then extra virgin olive oil for the frying so these are the ingredients you can use any veggies of your choice if you want all right so i think my meat has marinated a bit at least i've tasted and it tastes okay my spices has infused on it so i'll just turn on the stove and allow the meat to cook whilst i cut my veggies so by the time i'm done cutting my veggies my meat will be cooked so what i'll do is with the scallions i cut the hard part or the white part of it i separate it from the part that is green i'll be using both at different times they wouldn't go on fire or they wouldn't go into my work at the same time but i can use any veggies of your choice if you want to there's really no restrictions to that okay so i'm done cutting my veggies and this is the shape that i like to cut my veggies you can cut it into your desired shape there's no problem so i'll just check my beef and it's cooked it looks cooked and it smells so good let me taste one and see oh this is so hot but it's so 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 delicious it's perfectly cooked so i'll just take it off from the fire and then put on my wok this is so 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 good so i'm putting on my wok you can't do stir fry without a wok but i can use any frying pan of your choice hey there's no problem all right so my wok is heated up i'm just adding a little oil not so much a little oil we are not using much oil we just saute the meat for one to two minutes so i'll just go ahead and add in my cooked beef chunks and let it saute for one to two minutes before i forget i'm actually going to eat this stir fry with a spicy herb infused um, fried rice which is up on my channel the recipe for that fried rice is up on my channel you can check it out it's really delicious and it's a great pair it goes with this stir fry as well so check it out and make something yummy so i'll just leave this to saute for one to two minutes whilst i go and do other things okay so my beef is ready i'll just take it off the wok and transfer it into a bowl we actually remove it before adding or before um putting in the veggies because we wouldn't want to overcook your beef so we just take that out and let it um, juice as in let the juice get into them add the veggies that takes time to cook because we don't want to have our veggies so soft. There are veggies that take longer time to cook than others. So you add in the law uh, the veggies that take long time first. So I'll just I've added a bit of onions, some is still there which I'll use later. Then I'll add in my carrots. Remember carrots are so hard. So we just add it, give that a uh, stir for 30 seconds this is a stir fry so you don't leave the veggies to cook you stir as it cooks and we want our veggies soft and crunchy at the same time so have to make sure that is done 
so i'll just leave this here for 30 seconds and then i'll just um, mix my soya sauce and oyster sauce together so i have my bowl here i'll just add in about three teaspoons of my oyster uh, soya sauce here and then i'll add my oyster sauce to it so this one so i'll just add about two teaspoons they then give it a mix mix it until it combines um, evenly so it looks like i'll have to add a bit of soya sauce to that so i'm just adding one teaspoon remember the quantity of your stir fry determines how much soya sauce you should use so i forgot this is my cornstarch it will serve as a binding agent or a thickener just to thicken my sauce i'll just add in a bit of my beef stock i wouldn't use what i'll just add this for the taste as well and then mix it to form a sauce or whatever so it just makes everything on so there are no lumps in it it's so smooth and well combined so whilst that is done i'll set it aside and add in the rest of my veggies so my carrot is okay we don't want to let the carrot get soft because as we keep adding the other veggies the carrot keeps cooking so just 30 seconds and then we add in the rest so i've added in my zucchini there as you add you stir that is why it's called a stir fry this is the white part of my scallions with my paprika the white part of the scallions are really hard so you wouldn't want to cook them together with the green part of the scallions so this is a stir fry remember so you always stir it always stir it until it's cooked as you stir it cooks faster so it doesn't waste time or we don't waste time cooking that is why i said earlier on that this is a quick fix and as we go on you appreciate the fact that it's really a quick fix so i think these veggies are done i'll just add in my bell peppers and cucumber and the rest of um, my onions to it so but before then this is my marinade i'm just adding in a few um, teaspoons you could use fresh herbs if you want but i don't have fresh herbs so i'm just this is made of fresh herbs so i don't need to chop i'll just add in my marinade like i told you if you've watched my marinade video i said you could use this for a stir fry which we are using it for and we use it for so many other recipes as well so we just give that a stir until everything or it combines with our veggies before we add in because when we add in the rest of our veggies will be done for next i think these veggies are okay so my bell peppers bell peppers are very fragile they don't take time to cook so we give that a stir for 30 seconds let everything combine the veggies should always move to the center of the wok because of the nature of this sauce that is why it's advisable to always use a wok for your stir fry but if you don't have a wok there's no problem but be sure not to overcrowd your veggies in um, a skillet or a frying pan if i should put it that way so this is done i'll just add in a little salt just a little salt because there's salt in my oyster sauce and soya sauce and the salt in my uh, marinade as well so you don't want to make your sauce so salty and there's even salt in the beef so this was just two a uh, one and a half teaspoon of salt of uh, adding this is my ground cayenne pepper remember there's paprika in there so you don't have to add so much but if you are not using fresh uh, paprika or any fresh pepper you can feel free to add the powdered pepper according to your taste that's not that's okay and this is my powdered herrings this in place of my uh, maggi or in place of maggi this is shrimp shrimps are really good 
super nutritious and adds so much taste to your meals when you add herrings and shrimps to your meals you don't need any bouillon or maggi cube to add to your dishes remember we are eating healthy so everything natural and this is a mixture of my oyster sauce and uh, soya sauce going in there yeah look at that just give that a stir and combine all our veggies let all our veggies get a feel of the sauce oyster sauce and soya sauce all right so tasting time oh this is so delicious i can promise you that it's really really delicious okay quick stir here then we add in our beef so once you add in your beef you know that we are almost done with our process so give that a quick stir until the beef and the veggies combines together this looks so good and it smells so good so i'm adding my um corn starch which i mixed just to thicken our sauce a bit i don't want it so thick so i've just added a little Ah, my stir fry is 99% ready and it smells so 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 good trust me so you see the scallions this goes this is the last thing that goes into our stir fries because this scallions cook easily and remember even though we we'll turn off the heat but there will still be heat in our stir fry so the heat will even make it soft so this is my sesame seeds just give that a mix and you are good to go so if your kids or you are not a fan of um, eating sesame seeds raw always add it to your stir fries and that is it they will give you all the nutrients look at how delicious it is thank you for watching i hope you make yours and enjoy it with your friends family and loved ones thank you So this is my stir fry, I've just garnished it with a little more of the sesame seeds. I'll be pairing this with some um, fried rice, herb infused fried rice. The recipe is up on my channel, you can check out the recipe for my fried rice. It's really really delicious. You should try your stir fry with that fried rice recipe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share and leave your comments. Well, look how beautiful our stir fry is. And I'm pairing this with herb infused fried rice. The recipe for this fried rice is coming up next. So turn on post notifications and try this delicious recipe.